But I just want to show you this statistic. Sorry, Cine Gang that's being prepared here. Oh. Inula. Oh, but it looks just like Cine Gang. Yeah. Hello, folks, and welcome to today's video. I'm standing right outside the Cube Wing here at SMC side. And today, behind this beautiful 3D architectural piece, we're going to be driving over the brand newly built Cordova Cebu Mactan Bridge, which is that bridge over there. I've tried to drive over that bridge before when I was in Cebu, but uh, it was not open to motorbikes under 400cc. But now I hear you can, you just have to pay a tollway. I'm not sure, I've heard it's about 60 pesos to go over it. And we're going to be exploring that whole island, Lapu Lapu, Maxan, in the next upcoming days. Because I've never been there. I've covered quite a lot of Cebu, pretty much all of it, I would say. But I haven't really ventured in that area. And that's where the airport is. And that's like the new side of Cebu. So the first attraction is driving over that bridge. And then the second attraction is going to be visiting a nearby cafe called 10,000 Roses. Yes. Let's jump on the motorbike and get going. So I've rented a motorbike from ZG Motorbikes. I always use this company when I come to Cebu. I think it's the only official company in Cebu City that rents motorbikes. And this NMAX is in such good condition. It's in red and black. The exterior body panels have been apparently replaced. Looks like spanking new. And it's such a pleasure to drive. I absolutely love driving this thing. I was also given a brand new helmet. Look at this, never used before. Fancy, eh? There's not a single scratch on that visor. Can you imagine not a single person has worn this helmet? Just myself. Yeah, woo. I wonder if we'll be able to cross it. I really hope they've allowed it now because it's been open for a while. The last time I was here, it only just opened up. So uh, they weren't allowing small motorbikes to go over. All right, let's get going. Woo. smaller bikes going over it so it looks like the restrictions are no longer present this is where you gotta make the divider you gotta take this little slipway up it look at this it says speed enforcement you must do 60 you can't go over 60 look how pretty it is There's actually a walking path on the side which you could cycle up or walk along. But it's a very long bridge. Wow, look at the view you get from here. Ah, uh, look at this. Here are the steel strands of the bridge. Wow. Oh my god, look at it, it's fantastic! Proud to be an engineer, folks! Look at that! It's so big! What a magnificent structure that connects Cebu mainland to Lapu Lapu! I love it! It's incredible! That was it! It took about a minute to cross! Look at the downward descent. Yeah, I've never actually explored the island of Pakistan and Lapu Lapu. I've only landed there because that's where the airport is and I made my way directly to Cebu City. So it is gonna be a new area, a new side of Cebu that we haven't seen. I think a more developed side of Cebu as well. There's absolutely no one on this bridge at the moment, folks. Very few vehicles. Uh -huh. I think we're coming up to the tollway gate. This is probably where you pay. Looks very fancy. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Makanopo? 60, okay. Oh, shit. Uh, can pay by card, can pay by cash. Uh, no card. Okay. Hello. Say hello. Hello, hello vlog. <laughs> Thank you, man. Wow, look at this triangle. <laughs> what the hell? Did you make that triangle now? <laughs> Thank you. Helpful. <laughs> All right. 
Let's drive on through. See you later, gentlemen. Take care. Bye bye. Woo. And there we are. Successfully crossed. Oh my goodness. Yes. That was such a good drive. So what we did was we came back all the way down there, crossed the bridge, came all the way around, and we're going down in this direction now. Right, so this 10,000 road cafe apparently is all the way down the end of this road. I believe it's actually positioned on a pier. There's a bit of land that stretches out onto the ocean where... Yeah, and this is what I was telling you about, you see? How water surrounds this entire portion of land here. It's just this road or this strip. Okay. You pay, yeah, you pay parking first. Hello, say hello. Hello, say hello. <laughs> huh? What's your name? Mergin. <laughs> Milky, Milky Way. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> His name is Milky? Oh, wow. We've got the same name, sir. All right, parked my motorbike there. And uh, we're going to go inside the 10,000 Rose Cafe, which is in this direction, yeah? yeah. Okay, thank you, Doc. Thank you, Kuya. There's a restaurant called the Native Restaurant on the left there. That looks really nice, too. Oh, okay. Apparently, the uh, cafe only opens at 2 p.m. so it's closed right now and it's just over there but never mind we'll go and check out this little restaurant here called the native restaurant because i do feel a little bit peckish have i eaten today no not yet so maybe we'll go grab brunch bless you man <laughs> can i get a table for one, for one? yeah Ah, oh, so pretty. It's a cafe. Sorry, the restaurant. It's a restaurant, right? Oh, cute. <laughs> very, very cute. <laughs> Hello. Hello, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, there's a nice breeze coming through here. No problem. I'm just by myself. Oh, hello. Come here. Yeah. Oh. Hello. How are you? Come here. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Scared. Hello, how are you? <laughs> What's your name? What are you doing, huh? <laughs> well, take a look at this view. It's pretty decent, right? And uh, I was a little bit concerned that it was it would be very hot sitting out here. But actually this breeze is cooling me down pretty well. We're gonna have something to eat from here and then once we're done eating from here, the restaurant should be open by the time we're finished. Okay, let's take a look at this huge menu. So we can get chicken bacalod, some sinigang, some crispy pata, and some drinks. Mmm. Okay. Oh, hello, hello too. I'm not sure what to order, so I'm gonna have a look around and see what people ordered up. It seems as though the chicken bacalod seems to be very popular because uh, I see the presence of yellow rice everywhere. Some might have had pork back a lot or pork belly lechon kawali not sure if it's possible do you watch the video? Your, she watches your no way. way how are you? come on Ramil sure where, where, where should we stand? I would not believe it's you you were here are you because I just yeah yeah I just passed by here are you Sabuanas or? yes ah oh, okay cool alright then <laughs> I was just petting you earlier <laughs> I've ordered up and I've gone with um they said they don't have the chicken bacalod, so I'm going with some sisig and garlic rice. Yeah. Along with some Cordova drinks. The small, which is good for two to three people. I'm not sure if this is special to Cordova or not, but it looks like a squash. It looks really interesting and there's a lot of calamansi in there. The Cordova cooler has just arrived and it really is good for like two to three people. It almost looks like a vase or a plant. Oh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I just spilled it. Huh? Wow, that's sweet and sour. Mm. And so citrusy at the same time as well. This plane's passing over this restaurant because the airport is just over to the right. But I can't quite see it because uh, it is being blocked by the roof. So I probably have to sit right on the corner to see it. But, uh, oh, 
Oh, it's all right already, wow. Thank you for waiting. No worries. Didn't wait long at all. Okay, do I need to mixy mixy? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. It's hot. The color man sees so well. It's burning my hand. All right. We're all the fun. Mix the cystic as soon as it arrives. But I think it's already been mixed for me, so it's okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Look how juicy that looks. Oh. Let's start off with the lechon kawali. Mm. They haven't brought me some sauce to dip it in though. So does the lechon come with um, some sauce? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is there? No, you know you usually you get like some sweet sauce with lechon? We have already done it. Okay. Usually uh, lechon kawali is complemented by a condiment which is like this sort of brown sauce. It's really really sweet. And I can't remember exactly what it's made of from the top of my head. But it's got a lot of flavour and lechon just doesn't taste the same if you don't dip it in that. Oh, you don't have any? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh. oh we got some sauce here. Which looks like soy sauce. I think it is. This is way better than drinking coffee on an empty stomach. Yeah, that's pure soy sauce. Wow, there's bits of watermelon in here. And oranges, calamansi. But I can eat a watermelon. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a success, great. Very deep flavors. And quite a bit of spice in there as well, which I like. Yeah, this is it from here. It's spicy and savory. I love it. Spicy sissy for the win. I've really been treating myself for these last couple of days. In that house of Electron yesterday, words can't describe how good it was. But I'm now coming here to another great restaurant. Two days in a row of fantastic Filipino food. Oh yeah. And what makes the experience even better is even with this view of the waters that surround Cebu. You do? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, type in Emilia. Thank you. See you, take care, bye-bye. Okay, I finished my meal. Look, the cystic is completely gone, rice demolished. Pretty much uh, no lechon left other than like the bones. But I just want to show you this cystic, sorry, sinigang that's being prepared here. Oh. Inula. Oh, but it looks just like sinigang. Yeah, yeah, just like sinigang. Just like sinigang. Is it the same taste? No. No? Sinigang is sour. Sinigang is sour, but this one is not sour. What is it? Sweet? That's sweet, but... Savory? Yeah! Oh, okay. Oh, okay! Salty, yeah? Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Oh, look at the big fish! Are you blogger then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steam, steam! This is a steam! This is what? Steam? Steam, steam, steam! steam. 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 Oh, we have sauce! We have sauce! We have sauce! So the fish is called steam, yeah? Yeah! Okay. First, boiling water first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After, then the next is the sauce. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What does the sauce contain? Ah, soy sauce. Soy sauce, oh. oh. Soy sauce. This one, sweet vinegar sauce? Yeah. No, yeah? No, vinegar. no? No vinegar? No vinegar, vinegar. Yeah, yeah, sweet vinegar. Masara, man. Masara. Masara. Mm. Philippine, Philippine Yeah, good taste, man. Okay, I'm gonna get the bill, let the chefs carry on with their work, and then head over to 10,000 Roses, which is just across over there. I forgot we're in Cebu. 
Like they don't single. say Masa rap here, they say La Mi Kao. Yeah? Why? Single. Why? You have a daughter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your, that's not your daughter. Oh, that's your wife? Oh, your co worker. Oh. Here in the Philippines, everybody's offering their co workers, like their blood related or like it's their daughters. I can offer everything, sir. <laughs> if you want. I just want good taste in food and a good time in the Philippines, yeah. Where are you from then? Uh, from the UK. UK? Yeah. Is this your first thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, What's your name, sir? Uh, Mergen. Okay, the bill comes out to 745 pesos. Nice. Uh, can pay by card or...? Yeah, you can pay by card too. Okay, folks, I'm just going to wait for my change and I'm going to head to the 10,000 Rose Cafe. But I think I'm going to save that for a separate video and wrap up today's video here. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share with friends and family. And I'll see you in the next video here on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye for now.